Hi everyone, uh, my name is Monor Mukul. In this video, I will talk about fast start failover. Fast start failover is a feature that allows the Oracle Data Guard broker to fail over to the standby database. So if something happened to the primary database, is database crash or instance crash or server um, outage, then it's um, uh, do like a fail over automatically to the standby database. Uh, this feature increases the availability of the database by eliminating manual uh, process um, which is normally done by DBA if something happened. So here um, for my lab session, uh, DevOps is my primary database server and um, OEL 7.5 is my physical standby database server. So now here I am kind of showing you that um, Oracle documentation. Uh, for getting more information, you can go through Oracle documentation. It's always good practice. So um, uh, here um, for this um, fast start failover, you can see first broker or release 21 broker. Uh, and another one is new features. So with um, if you go to data guard section, you will see that uh, the features uh, are available for 21 seat is mentioned. So I'll go through a um, uh, few features um, uh, and um, uh, set up of um, fast failover. So here I am connecting to the primary database server and um, physically stand by database server to see the current status. To enable the fast start failover, we need to make sure that flashback database is on for both primary and standby databases. I'm going to check that one now. Now um, setting up um, broker session. To the primary database server side. Let's see the configuration now. So here you see that EAYMD PRM is primary database and EAYMD STB is physically standby database here. So I'm going to modify the protection mode um, as maximum availability. Um, uh, to enable zero data loss mode configuration. So any command, if you just type help and first part, it will give you the option. So here you see that I type help edit. I am giving that command from here. If you cannot remember the syntax, then you can use this help option. So now if I check that configuration, you will see here that um, protection mode is maximum availability. So 
So now uh, checking those two databases, primary and standby database. So I'm going to set up um, uh, did you transport mode to sync. And this is database level property. Oh, I missed two properties. So. Now I'm going to do the same for um, the standby database. Now we are going to set up the first start fade over target so for our primary database we will make that a physical standby database and for physical standby database so we are going to make an or set that up to primary database or oh, semicolon I made that semicolon when we edit configuration we need that end semicolon Now let's verify the um, properties that I we set that up. So we are going to set that um, timing with the observer reconnect. So let's uh, put a little more time. So this observer reconnect configuration property specifies how often the observer establish a new connection to the primary database. So we are going setting that up to 120 
seconds okay now we will validate So you see that first start failure but is disabled and it's giving me giving us that protection mode and what is primary database and it's also giving a message that it is not possible because um, uh, failover is disabled and second one is observer not started. So let's connect to the standby database server and start observer. Here you can see that I put a password so you can see that password because it's not secret for me but normally uh, when you work you will not pass this password as a DBA you know that one. So I am going to um, start observer um, to uh, background mode. So now let's check or validate that one again. Show observer. Okay, first we see that yes, observer has been started and it's giving a, a name, observer name, and you see that which host is running. But you, there is no log file or state file information yet. So if you validate here, you see that now we see that it is giving me message that first start failover is disabled but observer issue is no longer there because observer is not now running so we are going to enable fast start failover to enable that one just enable fast start failover so here enable in zero data loss mode Now what we want, there is a new feature that we can do um, uh, failover observer only. It's uh, from 19C onwards. So oh, let's first test that feature. So that's for what we are going to do. Um, in summary, we'll just um, uh, enable into observer only mode and we'll see what is happening. So disable fast failover. Now going to enable into observer only mode. And you see when you start fast start failover, then you see that log file and state file path. Okay, help command. So enabled in observer only mode. So if we type now, let's validate. So there is a message that fail over not possible because it's observer only mode. So let's see what is happening if um, we do like Okay, open another session uh, and see the logs entry.
So I'm ch setting up red color, let's say. My lock path here. So now for testing this one, we are going to uh, shut down our primary database. If we see logs here, that it's giving a message that primary database. cannot be reached. Now let's connect to the uh, standby database and see the role. So it's physically standby. Yes, we know that one. So it's just uh, running into observer only mode. So it's not doing anything uh, or making physically sent by as a primary because first state failover is running but only observer only mode. So the message is it's try to connect to the primary database. Now let's start primary database. And let's check the database status. database came as normal. So observe is running. So now we'll do a new feature. So before that, first let's stop observer for now. So you see that message also giving that observer stopped. So now uh, with 21C because 20C is not there, there is a new feature that um, client files, what I said that um, uh, there was no default location for all these you know that broker deleted files before uh, 21C. Uh, so now we have the option that we can uh, set up those files. So uh, here I have set up um, one skips. Let's open that one. Again you can see this password but um, this is uh, my lab session and there is no secret that far. So first we need to create a directory like uh, Oracle looks for dg admin variable. So 
uh, and we have to create a path under that variable and slash config underscore uh, seed. If we don't create, then we will get a message first for that one that that directory not exist. And other thing also noted here that you see that DG admin access should be only the owner, not for other users. So we cannot give permission that for our I made that 700 700. So only should be accessible by the user who owns that one. So, so let's start um, observer again. Into background mode. So let's check the status of observer. Yes, and now if you see here that log file path and state file path. So this is the path that we defined. So now we can see logs from this path. So two things very important as mentioned as I mentioned before that you have to set up dg underscore admin variable and under there like we have to create a directory config underscore seed. Other one is that um, uh, that uh, path should not be accessible by any other user than the owner. So you check the validated first state failover. So, uh, let's now for the last time we checked with the observer only now we are going to enable um, to test um, failover so if we see that here we can see that um, all looks good uh, now let's do a lock switch So here we see the transport lag and apply lag is 0 seconds. So to simulate failover, um, what we will do we'll is we will stop um, our uh, primary database here. So now we checked into log. So it's failed. Try to connect to the primary and primary database cannot be reached. So It's waiting for threshold, waited for threshold. Now it's going that that first star failover started. And here you see that 
first state failover succeeded and new primary is um, like a uh, yymd stb so failover has been done like uh, completed automatically so now let's connect to the broker session from the mm, new primary or current primary database server so here you see that uh, stb is primary database extension and uh, extension prm is now physically stand by database and those mm, uh, warnings are there because um, currently mm, old primary we have stopped that one so now start up this database So now, this is normal message because data got uh, prevented this database from opening. Mount is fine because uh, broker setup is there. So broker, if you look here, let's see. So you see that reinstatement of database in progress. And if we check here, it's actually doing that one. So re reinstate um, uh, database is in progress and it's succeeded. So show configuration um, all looks good now if we do so show observer observer also fine now we are going to just our uh, test is done with observer only mode and without observer uh, like um, real observer mode we have checked that one so we have stopped observer now we are going to disable fast start failover so i hope you got um, we have got a very good idea how uh, fast start failover works um, uh, because we have tested um, few features also like validate and client files for uh, observer and then observer only mode that's it for now so thank you